Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, in, out. Great, now let's get ready for transition labor. Oh. Come on, girls, let's do our hee hees. Oh, let's not. <laughs> Grumpiness and irritability are good signs in women over 37 <laughs> weeks. It means that you are psychologically ready to give birth. Whoa! It means you can't remember when you weren't pregnant and you can't imagine when it's going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Swollen feet, sore back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, skip the hee hees and we'll adjust our pillows and get ready for our total body relaxation exercise. Yeah. And then when we're done, we'll have some protein cookies. Woo! Right on. Oh. Oh. I don't know what's worse, her attitude or her cookies. <laughs> Is she always this grumpy? Colleen? Only when her husband's not here. Your husband's not here and you're not being a grump? Yes, but he's a flyer and so is your ex. So I can vent to you any time about the Air Force and you'll understand. Separation. Lack of family life. Transfers of good friends. Now who's grumpy? I'm not being grumpy. I'm bitter. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hmm. Now, breathe slowly. Exhale. I want you to put yourselves in a place of peace. Imagine yourselves beside a mountain stream or on a sandy beach. Skinny in a bikini. Hold it! Can I help you, sir? You better. One of you's having my baby. And I want to know who. And if you don't tell me, I'm going to blow us all up. Maybe we should just rush him. Our combined weight alone would take him down. <laughs> so I'm not a patient person. I, I need some water. Yeah, forget it. She's scared. Well, it's not my fault. That's Embry's. She's also pregnant. There's water in the fridge, and juice and sodas, and protein cookies. I'll just get it. Just stay put. I'll get it. And sit down. You're making me nervous. Come on, ladies. Okay. Easy. Uh, oh, I still think we should just take him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right. Do you think Dr. Sloan can help us? Honey, I don't know. Do any of you know what's wrong with this man, what he's no, talking about? Of course not. He's crazy. Besides that, I have been teaching classes for Adam Embry for five years. He's a caring and ethical doctor who gives women and their husbands hope. It's something a lot of them have lived without. She's right. You know how long Craig and I tried to get pregnant. I've always wanted to be a mother, to do right all the things my own mother did wrong. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have that chance two years ago, but now Dr. Embry has given me three chances. Triplets. Triplets? <laughs> mm -hmm. There's some uh, towels in the bathroom and a water bottle under the uh, sink. Did someone say bathroom? Uh, well? Go on. Please don't tell me you're having contractions. With three babies sitting on my bladder, who could tell? Hi, it's me. Juliet's gone into labor. Can you see the head yet? Yeah, but I haven't practiced obstetrics since I was a resident. Well, uh, Cheryl's a trained nurse practitioner. It ought to help. Mark, these women are having multiple births. What if one of them should go into labor? And tell Steve this lunatic has dynamite wrapped all the way around his body, that the detonator looks like a call button out of a hospital room, and that it's attached to a silver box with a red light. I've got to go. Are you sure you're okay? My blood sugar's through the floor. All right, well, maybe you should have had one of Cheryl's cookies. It's just a thought. <sighs> Laura's only three centimeters dilated. Oh, it's gonna be a while. If we keep having babies at this rate, and we can start our own basketball league. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Close the door. <sighs> Thank God the EMT's here. Yeah. No quick moves. Should... Come on. Okay, uh, Cheryl, I can use your help. Uh, Mr. Miller, would you take her place, please? Oh. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. You're an EMT? Yeah, well, I oh. haven't done this in a while. Oh, don't they do refresher courses? Well, I missed the last one. Oh, wonderful. Well, just tell me to take slow, deep breaths and relax, like this. Just... Oh. What you said before about, uh, 
that Bob was right about Dr. Emery. That was just to calm him down, wasn't it? I'm afraid not. Dr. Sloan's discovered something, but he didn't have a chance to tell me more about it. It just doesn't sound like Adam. I've known him for years. And he's dead. This is unbelievable. Apparently, Dr. Embry was very good at hiding the truth. Now you're supposed to tell me to take one last slow breath. Take one last slow breath. Not bre now. Oh, men. If my husband doesn't change every diaper for the next three years, he's dead. I believe it. Take oh. one last deep Shut breath. Shut up! Oh, oh, can I cancel my contract on this baby thing now? When's she gonna have him? Uh, we have a problem here. At least one of those babies is breech. I need a real OBGYN. No, no, no more people. No, I already got you the one EMT. Not that he's doing anything. Oh. I'm not asking you to let anyone else in. I need Dr. Sloan on the speakerphone. I'm sure he can talk us through this. Well? That's two. Oh, can I go home now? You're doing really good, Colleen. We've just got one more to go. You sure that cop's not going to try to arrest me? I think he's a little busy right now. And hey, if you didn't trust me, then how come you decided to come back up here? Morbid curiosity. OK, uh, Mark, this third baby is definitely breech. All right, you can try and turn the baby around, or you can deliver it this way. Well, no, if I do that, then I risk getting the umbilical cord caught around the neck. That could happen in either case. Then I'll leave well enough alone. Quick attraction! Do I push? Do I push? No, no. Just let it happen naturally. Oh, it's easy for you to say. Breathe through it. Just breathe through it. You've done it twice. Okay. Okay. Okay, the buttocks are free. All right, now rotate the baby 180 degrees. The first arm should deliver. Oh. All right, now rotate the other way. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I, I, I got it, but, but, but the head is still inside. Mark, Mark, the heartbeat of the baby is slowing down. He's trying to breathe. Amanda, reach in and cover the baby's nostrils with your fingers. Now, gently pull them out. Oh, oh. Breathe through it. Like me? 